because this is Kara from Custom Minted, um, I did want to take the time to go over um, the basics of template just in case you aren't familiar with it, as well as address some frequently asked questions. So over here is where you'll find your templates, whether you have templates from my shop or other shops, they'll all be here. In here is where you'll see, like in this bubble, is where the size of the actual template will be. Regardless of whether the size file says that's the size or not, because sometimes I do mess up a little bit um, when naming the files, this will always be the actual size of your template. So you can click on this one. Uh, this is one of my more popular templates. So um, I did want to use this one as an example because it has kind of like the gradients in there and everything else. So over here to the left is where you'll find the text boxes that you can add if you wanted to add text on your own. Um, here is where the backgrounds are. These are things that I have uploaded. And then also here are the colors that you can use or you can choose your own color wherever you wanna place that or um, you can actually delete the background altogether and get a transparent background because this is an actual square um, that I have resized to a rectangle. So it is not the actual background. So here's the background color here. You can just choose pink or whatever. Um, over here is where you'll find the images tab. And you can upload your own logo or you can upload any elements that you want to use that are, you know, you know, you want to add to customize your design or you can add your own background and use it within here. And this is where you will drag and drop it to upload it and it will pop up here. I've already uploaded something. Um, it's one of the logo templates in my shop and it is a PNG file. So it does, it is transparent so that I can use it in the template. One other thing I want to mention is very important is that you actually click it and don't try to drag it onto the template because it will not work. So if you click it, it pops up. So here is a bounding box, these little blue boxes here. You will take to keep this thing the same size proportioned all the way down. You will drag from the corners. Do not take whatever it is and try to resize it this way because it changes, you know, the dimensions and the proportioned um, look of your element, whatever you have uploaded. Okay, so we're gonna drag. Oh yeah, and another thing is if you wanna rotate it, you'll rotate from here. And it shows you in the right corner, it shows you the degrees of which you're rotating. So you put it back center and we can drag from the corners and make it smaller to place up here. And when you put it up here, you see there's a pink line that's popping up as well as two green lines on the side. The green lines are showing you that you're in line with some other box that is beneath it or to the top of it or wherever you have other boxes. Um, the middle pink line is showing you you're, you're in the perfect center. So right here where the two lines meet is the actual center of the entire document. Okay, so here we can click on a text box and this is the name of the font that will come up. You can choose whatever font you would like to use. Here is the actual size of the font. If you wanna use special characters or um, I guess, I guess, Certain cursive letters have, or fonts have little tiny glyphs that you can use that are like the curly little things. That will all come up here when you click the cursive A. It's called the glyph panel. And your special characters will come up here um, if you have like little accent mark characters, stuff like that. And it's very important to acknowledge that here because when you're using this icon font, the icons that you can use, you know, for other social networks or, you know, whatever it is that you want to add to your template are going to pop up here. And if you want to change, you want to add Instagram, um, you can do that all here. 
or if you want to use it on YouTube, whatever it is that you want to add, it can put it there. Also, you can upload your own icons, which is what I did here. These are uploaded and not a part of the font. So they don't have the font that comes up. So that's how you know it's an actual image icon. And the only thing that you can do here is resize it. Let's see. Um, if you go back and you click on one of the text boxes, you'll also see that you have a lot of other options here. So you can make it bold, you know, italic, underline. Um, you can realign the um, text boxes. So whatever you want to use, whatever orientation. You can clone it here. And if you want to make it a duplicate of whatever it is that you had selected, that's where it goes. Um, let's see. Here you can send something to the back. Or you can bring it back to the front. Or use the arrow. So say I sent it to the back and I wanted to just bring it up one level. That's when I would use that arrow. Here you can do a shadow. Let me just click on, control the blur here. So if you want a really strong shadow, you just turn the blur all the way down. You can really position it, or you can go to change the color. Kind of gives it a cool effect, actually. <laughs> you turn it off as well. You select this, and you will see that you have where you can change the text case. You can all have them all uppercase, lowercase, depending on what you want to use. Um, the line height is important if you want to space it out a little bit better to your liking. There is the character spacing, which is the space between each letter. You also have where you can lock the position if you're editing and something needs moving and you don't want it to move at all. You can lock it in position. You can also change the opacity or you can go to a chunkier font and you can add a stroke. You can change the color here and the width. Okay, we'll remove that. Um, working with these gradients, right? You can add a gradient to your actual font. So let's go for something a little bit longer. Next to the color fill box, you will see that you can add a gradient. You can add a horizontal one, you can make it vertical, you get the picture. Um, add any kind of tech uh, effects that you would like. Go back to the original, it's just to do regular color fill. When you get to the backgrounds here, these are gradients. And this isn't perfect, this isn't like using Photoshop. So the gradient colors don't come up when you try to change them. So if you need to use this across your labels and you want to keep the colors consistent and you chose a random color, right? Um, you would save it. And you would click control or command uh, C to copy and then you could go to your other template and then you can press control or command V which is depending on whether you use a PC or a Mac and you can use it again on another template or on the different pages that you have within your document. So you would just delete this one, bring that one back up and then Send to back. Also, if you want to make all of these the same template, right? So say you don't want to use all these colors and you want to keep it all the same color, but you want to keep changing the name or you want to duplicate the page. That's all you would do is do that here. Keep in mind that if you delete something, you cannot get it back unless I reset the entire template to the original template. So do not delete it unless you know you don't want to use it. Very important. Um, let me think if I had to go over anything else. Let's see. Um, 
you can change whatever image or whatever you have selected, you can change the uh, orientation as far as flipping it horizontally and vertically. And we have the up undo up here. You would just save it right here. Um, I guess you could revert it. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't have, this is actually, um, I usually have a seller's account, so I did have to purchase a template to get a user or a customer account. So you can revert it. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. So if you have any other questions as far as editing or any questions that you may have, you can feel free to contact me um, and we'll try to get it resolved. So thank you so much.